All right, guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, today, or tonight, actually, it's like nine o'clock. I'm gonna be doing the door and the fender over here, which are actually the easiest things that I've had to do so far in the car. So, it shouldn't take me too long, but I do have a problem here. Um, I have this like side molding for the doors and the quarters, which are, they're buried somewhere. But um, they run along the door here and right here, it took off the paint. You can see underneath there's Bondo. So the car was hit here. I could tell underneath the uh, underneath the quarter too. But the car was hit here underneath. That's just, it's all in there. And now it's, uh, you can see right here, I was sanding it away to make it a little bit evener or a little bit more even. So I'm gonna go ahead and sand it some more. But um, first I'm gonna go ahead and just like with the quarter, remove these stripes, which uh, I'm not really gonna show you that, but I still gotta do that. Gotta remove the, uh, stripes for the fender as well and i think this is only going to take me about two hours because these two parts are fairly easy take off the fender flare other than that should be a cakewalk so let's get to it all right guys so i got everything for this door all prepped and ready to go um i went ahead i worked at that some more it's not perfect but it's a lot better than it was and i'm happy with it so also another cool thing you guys might find it interesting. I somehow accidentally set up this heater right here and it only heats this one panel like perfectly. There's a massive drop in temperature when you hit the other sides. Like look right here, 89. Ah, there you, see, you can see the laser. 88, 89 is 87, 88. Drop over here, 72. It's a 16 degree difference. And then on the other side, you come from the door, from the door here over to the fender. So the door right here, we're with 94, 90. Over here, 79. So you can see the laser, 79, 89. A half of an inch away. 10 degree difference right there. I don't know, I found it interesting, whatever. All right, guys, so I'm done with the door. Um, now that's still to do on the side would be this fender and that side screw down there. I'm gonna leave that for last because that seems like it's gonna be fairly easy. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and hit this fender now. Real quick here, 
Um, in case any of you guys are wondering what I'm using to actually clean off these panels before I lay down this vinyl, I'm using microfiber towels, Windex. I'm using, uh, first off, label and sticker removal from Turtle Wax. Um, I'm using that to get all the stuff from, uh, from the pinstripes off. And then I'm using Windex to clean it down with a totally separate rag. And then I'm using a third rag to uh, wipe it down, make sure that there's no dust on it. And then I'm using a fourth rag uh, and I'm putting alcohol on it. I got this spray alcohol right here. Putting this on there. I'm not letting it sit for too long because I'm not too sure what it would do. But um, <clears throat> putting that on there and then I'm using the third rag again, or microfiber towel. I'm using the third towel again to get all the dust off again. And then that's when I know that I'm ready to actually apply the vinyl. All right, so um, I decided to do one last part just so it doesn't, you know, clash too hard. I'm just gonna do the side view mirror here. Um, as far as I understand, it's pretty simple and it should only take me a few minutes. So hopefully it doesn't take me long because it's getting late and I'm getting tired. All right guys, so this side's done, at least now. Um, they both look the same, well, except for that side view mirror, because that one's done, but this one's not. But um, now that's all that's left is the spoiler trunk, rear bumper, front bumper. Um, I don't think I have enough actually for the front bumper, so I'm probably gonna leave that black for now. I gotta order more orange. I really, I, I don't, I just don't want to get my hopes up, but I really don't think that I do have enough for the front bumper. Um, but it's okay, I'll figure it out. I got a whole bunch of extra scrap pieces I can put together for the side skirts. They're nothing special, so it doesn't really matter. All right, so that sums this video up. Um, it's getting late. You can see my breath. Uh, it's cold, and I'm ready to go to sleep. So I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. Um, like, subscribe share uh and yeah that's about it oh yeah um if you guys if for some reason if it came across your brain while i was um taking off the wrap putting it back on taking it off and how easy i was making it look it's because i got this stuff this stuff right here vivid makes it it's tack reducer okay so wherever you apply it it pretty much doesn't stick as strong as it nor as, as strong as it normally would without it it helps a lot, especially for me, because I'm a beginner, I'm new at this. Once something's on there, and because it's cold, with me ripping it off, and if it were you know, all the way stuck on, there's a ch really good chance of me ripping it or tearing the vinyl. So it helps alleviate a lot of that pressure that's under there, and it kind of just flops right off. I mean, it doesn't like slide away or anything like that, but it comes off a lot easier. It's a big difference. So uh, yeah, that's it. That's it for today. I'm done, I'm tired. So like, share, subscribe, have a good one. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you guys later.